Welcome to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. There is a story that is being carried in the Daily Nation. The Standard has it and of course the people has it. Daily Nation says, why UNET is under siege in Raila's party? The people is saying cracks in ODM as leaders differ over UNET's summon. In a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen, the ODM party has written a letter to Junet Mohammed, a Shoko's letter, and they require Junet Mohammed to explain why disciplinary actions should not be taken against him for boycotting ODM activities. And that summon, that letter, has elicited different reactions and it is dividing leaders within the ODM party. ODM deputy party leader Ali Asanjo, who is also one of uh, Raila's closest allies, disagreed with this de decision by the ODM. But before we look at uh, reaction from Joho and uh, other leaders, I want us to look at Junet Mohammed, the man who is being summoned by the ODM party. Number one, Junet Mohammed is a very close ally of Raila Bolodinga. He is currently the member of parliament of Sona East constituency, one of the constituencies in Luenyanza. Consider that Junet Mohammed is of a Somali origin even though they have been there for very many years. Junet Mohammed is the current minority chief whip. They bestowed in him that privilege. So close is he to Raila that after the 2017 elections, when Raila was negotiating and they, they, they had some secret meetings with Uhuru Kenyatta, Raila took Junet Mohammed with him. People have been asking why Raila did not even take Orengo, who is a very close ally, why he didn't take even one of the governors that are maybe Uchila Yako. People are very close to him. He left them out and he went with Junet Mohammed. In 2022, Junet Mohammed was holding a very crucial role in the Raila's campaigns as very many people thought that Raila was going to win the 2022 election because they now had what people thought was the deep state. Junet Mohammed, during that election, has been known for the famous He Imeenda because he told the people that there was no way Ruto was going to win. And he said he meant as something that has now become like a national anthem. Just, just listen to him. Mimi naunga e mkono. Jambo la kwanza nataka kuongezea moja peke yake. Mimi nasema hivi. Mutu ambaye anataka kuongoza inti yetu kama rais. Hawezi chukua rigadhi gashagwa kama running mate yake. Angetafuta mutu ya maana hapa Kenya. Mutu ambaye hata sura yake nasa angaliwa. Niseme, 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 mutu ambaye anatakuwa raisi ya Kenya, wacha niriudie, awezi chukua mutu kama rigadhi kashagua, kama ranigmeti yake. Hiyo ni kweli siyo kweli? Hiyo ni kweli siyo kweli? Ya pili, watu ya kericho, wacha niambio yinyo kweli. Tumetembea katika inti yote, tumeenda huko puani, tumeenda huko western, Tumeenda huko Nyanza, tumeenda huko uh, Northeastern, tumeenda huko Kampani. Hii uchaguzi ya 2022 hii ya mwezi jao, hii meenda. Hii meenda. Hii meenda kabisa. Hii meenda. Hii meenda. Hii meenda. Sasa maombi yangu ni hii peke yake. Maombi yangu ni hii peke yake. Mimi naomba watu ya kericho, watu ya bomet, watu ya wasingishu, musidanganjwe mubaki inje. Tafadhali mupande hii train, tuende pa moja kanan. So that is Junet Mohamed. So you understand that he's very close to Raila Molodina. Now during the campaigns, Junet Mohamed together with people like Joho was so close they held very crucial responsibilities within the Azimio party. And I remember Raila said that 
had he won that election joe was going to become the land minister and i think it is because the costarians are suffering from land issues so raila gave them joe that immediately he got in or had got sworn in joe was going to tackle the land problems in the coast and of course junet mohammed was also the secretary i think of the, the entire azimio coalition so after the elections and after the IEBC declared Raila Ruto as the president and uh, the same happened in the Supreme Court, Junet Mohammed and Ali Hassan Joho, who are very close soldiers of Raila Mulodinga, kept off public and they took a sabbatical leave from, from active politics. There were a lot of speculations, some even mentioning that Joe had gone, Joe had left Raila. There were some speculations that Joe was joining Ruto because of his businesses in the coast. After some time, especially at the height of uh, demonstrations, the street demonstrations, people were really asking, where is Joe? Where is Junet? Because those tough times really needed these tough leaders. Junet and Joe are very tough leaders. So after some times when people were asking where these two leaders were, that picture came out where Junet Mohammed and Joe resurfaced, donning the Jeshi Lababa, you know, kind of uniform. And they were very ready. You see, that, that is full combat from the shoes, those boots to the cap there. So that, that came out. And people said that now Baba, in fact, Baba uh, Raila started recruiting his former allies. Joe came in and, and, and uh, Junet Mohammed. And that is when we saw Mahinda Njenga kind of was coming in. And we saw the former governor in, 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 in uh, Mount Kenya, the governors in Mount Kenya, those who were uh, in Azimir, they had left. So Raila started recruiting. So when that picture came out, it didn't take long. Because they, they, they were not so much in, uh, in the demonstrations. And then another photo came out where Raila was meeting Joho and Junet Mohammed. I think just to show people that they were still together. And Joho was in the US and we heard that he was you know, in, in, not in good health. So that was it. Now for these people to come up now and tell us that they are summoning Junet Mohammed there must be a problem something is happening and of course you know that recently when Raila celebrated his birthday that was a picture of Joho with a very cordial hug there and Joho said the following happy birthday Baba at Raila Mulodinga it is my profound prayer to the Almighty to continue blessing you with strength good health and happiness I mean so Joe gave us that picture just to show that they're still, you, you can see how Raila was smiling there. That is uh, uh, the, the closeness between two close friends. So Raila, Joho, and uh, Junet Mohammed have been very close allies. And uh, Joho and, uh, and, and uh, Junet Mohammed also helped Raila to traverse the areas where we have the Somali origin. So, so that, that is it. So when this sermon came out, I want us to see what Joe said. So Joe went to his Twitter handle and said, this is completely unnecessary and uncalled for. He took that newspaper headline. And Joe feels that this is not the time for the ODM party to start summoning leaders because Judah Mohammed is their chief whip, the minority chief whip. So you wonder, because being a chief whip, he should be part and parcel of the ODM in a circle. So you wonder why the office is summoning, is summoning the office. And Joe feels that ODM has got bigger fishes to fry than to start summoning people. Now, the Wajia member of parliament read mischief and he thought that maybe this is now tribalism taking place. And this is what uh, Wajia member of uh, Wajia governor he was saying that this scapegoating must stop. If some elements want to reduce the ODM party to a village CBO with the membership of the same surnames, let them say it plainly. 
there is nothing Junaid Mohammed has done by commission or omission without the express instruction and knowledge of the top party leadership. So Mr. Mohammed Abdullahi feels that this is a choreographed plan to reduce the ODM party into a lure affair because he feels that now Junet being a, a member of the Somali region, so they want to kick him to the periphery. Now, he's also saying that Junet cannot do anything without the knowledge of the top brass. He simply means that Raila Molodinga, because you, you have shown you, Junet Mohammed is the one who accompanied Raila in 2017 when they were going for that handshake. But this is also coming at a time when there are a lot of speculations. After the 2022 election, people have accused Junet Mohammed, and of course, of course I'm saying accused, that Junet Mohammed was part and parcel of the brigade that sabotaged Raila's, you know, victory. Many have said that Junet was the one in charge of the finances that were even supposed to be, to be used to pay the agents. The, OD, the Azimio agents or the ODM agents. And to date, it is said that there are agents who never got their money. This has been a problem, I think not only in ODM, but it has been a problem within the ODM, and people have shared uh, all this very plainly and publicly. So, Junet Mohammed suffered in the face of public courts. And people said that Junet is one person who some even said that he was not ready for a Raila presidency. Even as we speak, many still feel that there are leaders within the ODM party who do not care whether Raila wins. They will be using Raila's name to ascend to power, but they don't care because even as we speak today, Raila is under siege from some leaders who do not want him to exit politics. They want Raila to be there because without Raila, they cannot be elected. So it is coming against a backdrop of very many things. It is also coming at a time when Raila wants to rejuvenate ODM. Remember Raila has been uh, going on a recruitment drive. He started in Nyanza, in Kisi and Jamira, then he extended to Western. And Raila is urging people to register as ODM members. And of course we've not seen Jeanette. The election board, ODM election board, has been dissolved. The one that was being headed by Muma. Because people have said that that election board is not doing Raila any good. People have complained about the ODM nominations. And there were, I read somewhere, or someone was saying that these people are giving certificates, especially Izzy Zachini, the MCAs and all these People claim that they give certificates to their boyfriends and girlfriends and relatives. After listening to all this, Raila wants to rejuvenate this party. Raila wants to give this party a new look. And that's why he took the bull by its horns and he dissolved the ODM election board. So it is coming at a time where party loyalty is also being questioned. It is also coming at a time where we people have started speculating about succession politics. If Raila has to exit, then who next? And of course people are talking about Babu Oino. People see Junet as a very close ally of Raila Muludinga. So succession politics is also being seen here. There is a possibility that people feel that Junet has been so much elevated and that if Raila should exit, they will be somewhere eyeing the top seat. Others feel that he should not be ascending so much because in an, a, a, a lower dominated society, of course we know that we, we do tribal politics. Those are things that are being said. Others even feel that it is also not just ODM succession politics, but the Nyanza succession politics. Some people feel that there are cartels in some of these parties. Not only in ODM, by the way, even in Jubilee, in UDA, there are cartels who sometimes would want to have a ring around Raila Molodinga. Seeing him to share information might not be very easy. And they see Junet Mohammed as an insider, the inner circle, and they might not want him to rise. They also feel that he is part of the team, like, like, like I said, who sabotaged Raila Mulodinga. And so as they move on, because Raila is 
you know, it has started a recruitment drive and people feel that ODM want to go it alone. You've seen Raila doing it. You've seen they are saying in, in Nairobi, they are going to support Wetangula's brother, Tim Wanyonyi, the current member of parliament in Westlands. And so it seems ODM is trying to build themselves in such a manner that comes 2027, they will try it alone. Others are even saying that Azimio is no more. I don't know how true this is, but Raila has kept on saying that the affiliate parties within the Azimio must strengthen themselves so that they, they, they become a formidable force. Raila wants to give ODM a new look, maybe the older and the former leaders want to take a little uh, 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 push to the periphery so that we have a new look so that as people go they will not be going with people like Junette who have suffered public image and there is a lot of mistrust because people feel that they were the ones who messed Raila Maludinga. Raila also wants to be seen as a serious but you see when you are approaching another election you can't keep on repeating the same things that happened others people will see that you're not serious for for him to show people that he's serious I think he wants new look. I don't know what to think, ladies and gentlemen, but it's there's a lot of anxiety within the ODN because some are even saying that now that they have summoned Junet for not accompanying Raila in most of the ODM activities, what about Joe who has also not been seen, has also been missing? Is it a coded message to you know Joe? Is it a coded message to the other brigades who are in the ODM and they are no longer seen in the in, in public with Raila? I don't know, but we wait and see how things are going to transpire because now he has been summoned, he was given some two weeks to show why he should not be punished and uh, the time elapsed on Thursday. So as he goes there, we wait to see. And the other question that people are asking, does Raila know what is happening? And if he knows, then is he ready to part ways with some of these people? I don't know what to think, but that is my take.